today on the TMZ Podcast. Hello and welcome to the TMZ Podcast. I'm Charlie Cotton and today I'm joined by Ed Lewis. How are you, Ed? Doing great, Charlie. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. So you're the mayor of TMZ Sports. And so we've got you on to talk about Mr. Tom Brady, who's now single, unfortunately. So we're going to find him a new lady. Talk about Tom. Uh, we're also going to talk about uh, Halloween is going to be different for actors this year because the Actors Guild is saying they're not allowed to dress up as characters from movies. No costumes of any like Barbie or anything. You're not allowed to dress up like that. And Ryan Reynolds and Mandy Moore have got a big issue with that. Uh, we'll also talk about the, how to get free lunch for the rest of your life. Uh, that'll be at the end of the show. So good tips there. But to begin with, of course, you guessed it, Travis and Taylor. She's back. She She's came to her now fourth game. Uh, uh, she obviously missed one in Minnesota in between them all, but she's basically been four out of the last five. Uh, this one was at Arrowhead Stadium again. I believe this is the third of the four that's been at Arrowhead. That's where the Chiefs play. Uh, it was as if she is the most in love person ever. I mean, there was right. a friendship bracelet she wore with an 87, which is Kelsey's jersey number, and two hearts. Uh, she now has a secret handshake with Kelsey's best friend's wife, which is Patrick Mahomes, Brittany Mahomes. Uh, she has a secret handshake with her. She was seen uh, uh, high-fiving Patrick Mahomes' little brother, Jackson Mahomes. Uh, after the game, they were holding hands. I mean, this could not be more real, and it could not seem to be more serious. I mean, these... This looks like stuff that like people that are like, legitimately in love do. Like we don't even see this from Patrick Mahomes and Brittany Mahomes, and they're, right. they're married. You know, well, well, that's probably the reason there. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's it looks as real as it as it possibly gets. And uh, we should mention that the Chiefs won. It's the fourth game that they've won with her. They're four zero with her. And Travis Kelsey went ballistic. Good luck charm. Good. Everyone's saying good luck charm, even though the Chiefs are the Super Bowl. <laughs> like, yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> but there's a lot to unpack there because a that special handshake really got under some people's feathers and B the fact that Jackson Mahomes was there. Yeah. Um, Brittany Mahomes, little brother, Jackson Mahomes inside the NFL world. He is like the villain celebrity <laughs> of, of the whole NFL world. Like if you watch much NFL or consume any sort of like media about it, he's not well liked. And also he's got some sort of pending criminal cases against him for sexual assault. I Yeah. Believe. Was, he allegedly sexually assaulted a, a, or sexually battery, I don't, I don't know if that's the correct term for it, but uh, a, a restaurant owner at her place of work uh, several months ago, I think it's last year at this point now, and he's got that criminal case pending, and that's where a lot of people, the rub really is. It's like, well, he could potentially be going to jail for this. I mean, he was arrested over it, took a mugshot over it, you know, like this is a big deal. And so it's a weird person for Taylor right. Swift to agree to hang out with. I think that she, um, because she doesn't come from the NFL world, she didn't really understand the perception of these Mahomeses. <laughs> like Patrick Mahomes, obviously just legend football player, but Brittany doesn't have, you know, a great reputation, uh, reputation. And also Jackson worse still. So for them to be all like secret handshakes and like high-fiving in the box yet again, fourth game. They've only, they've only known each other about four games worth of time. And she's been at like almost every game. It's like, this is a top signal. I think this, this, this weekend, this interaction with Jackson, Jackson Mahomes is going to be the downfall <laughs> of Taylor and Travis. What do you well, feel about that? Well, to, to your point though, I think it spells like, or I guess to our point, it spells that she really is into this Travis Kelsey thing because like you said, Brittany and Jackson, they are they are like not well liked. People love Patrick, mm -hmm. love him. I mean, he is he is one of the most beloved figures I've ever seen in the NFL. And for as much beloved as he is, his wife and his little brother are just as despised. And so Taylor, like you said, she may or may not know that reputation. And she is just in there like going all gung ho with these two. I know just to like it's one of those things like if this is my man, I got to be friends with his best friend's girlfriend or his best friend's family, right? And like, so it, it it spells to me that it means more to her to have this relationship with them than it does to potentially, you know, be seen with these people who have not been the most sterling people in the NFL. But then, but your perception of it, your spin of it is quite kind of noble of her then. I agree, that's what I'm saying, yes. Oh, yeah. you're, you're, okay, you, you're saying that Taylor Swift doesn't care what we think? Yes, and that's what, like, know, in, in, in order to, in order to c pursue her relationship with Travis more, she is not necessarily caring that 
it may not be the best look in the world to be become best friends with Brittany and best friends with Jackson. I don't think she knows what a bad look it is, is my point. Somebody I, now, along the line didn't tell Taylor Swift that, hey, these people aren't the most loved people in the NFL. But, but then she would have said, why? And, and then the, the explanation for Brittany would have been, ah, she's kind of annoying. <laughs> she sprays champagne on fans and screams right. her face off during games. Right. To so, their credit, though, I will say this. Uh, Brittany, uh, uh, following that incident, you might recall, she, she sprayed some champagne on fans and got really backlash for it. And people really bullied her over, honestly. And since then, she's been much better about it all she doesn't yeah. scream as much she's not uh, on twitter talking about uh, how bad the refs are and it's, she's she's really toned it down and to jackson's credit as well i mean obviously he's got the legal case pending against him and since that he has been very rarely seen at these games and when he does it's it's like yesterday where he's in the background of taylor he's not tick tocking on logos anymore because that's what they used to do both britney and jackson used to be out there in like you know, sequined blazers, mm -hmm. like making the show all about them, even though like you've never touched a football in your life, either of them. And they're, they're sort of like the stars of the show. No. Um, but so, yeah, I agree that they aren't center stage, but they're still right there next to the biggest celebrity in the world. So this secret handshake is not going to help. <laughs> I'm telling you. What did you think about that though? I, I Cringer. thought if it was anyone, but with Brittany and Mahomes, Good. you know what I mean? And also they're doing it in front of the glass window so we can see it's all a bit sort of like we're pretending that this is all happening, but we're all we're they're just acting. Yeah, it's it, just acting. It's a little cringe. I, I didn't. Cringe. I didn't love it. Yeah. Okay, on to our next story. Tom Brady single, ready to mingle now that him and Irina Shake have splitting up, splitting up, split, split up. up, split up, broken up, split up. Yeah. Uh, so this is kind of surprising because they only recently got in it. Uh, we saw. Photos of them sort of like caressing each other's faces in a car. We were like, these are the two goats of their field. One of modeling, one of football. And now, I, I don't know where it all went wrong, Ed. Well, I want to say I'm surprised and I am a little bit. But before I say I'm surprised, it was like just a couple of months ago, a couple of weeks ago, that she was on a vacation or whatever you want to call it with her ex, Bradley Cooper, mm. and was topless. Like, uh, So, I mean, it's like... That's what models do. I mean, it's just like, I don't know. If I'm dating a girl and, and a couple weeks later she's on Instagram with her ex topless, I'm going to feel some type of way about it. I don't know. So, don't you think mo mo for models, like they're sort of like, I don't know. I think there's a boundary to... that, yeah, like, okay. as, as if I'm going to be your new boyfriend, I right. think we should probably not cross it, you know? Uh, but no, I, I, the part that is surprising to me is Tom Brady obviously has kids and he has real like a, a perception that, you know, he likes to keep this clean cut look and like yes. yada yada. So for him to go public with somebody like this uh, means that he obviously felt that it, there was something there. You know what I mean? Because we talked about that on, when, it, when we all saw it. It was like he could have sent a car for Irina. You know, he, they could have been like really, really clandestine about this. They didn't have to meet up in L.A. or whatever you want to call it. I mean, they could have done a million different ways to keep this private. And he clearly didn't mind it being public. And so for him to to make it public said like, oh, it's much more than just a hookup, right? I think um, he's just not used to sort of like this whole dating paparazzi world. Like he's been over there in Tampa or New England for most of his, you know, celebrity life. And he's been married to Giselle. So no one cares to get those photos <laughs> of like them just like kissing. Like, okay, sure. yeah, they're husband and wife. But now that he's newly single, I think... He didn't go public, I don't think. I think sort of like that paparazzi caught, like it's a stolen moment, like where he saw it. And Tom probably would have been surprised by those photos. And it's probably just like them just getting to know each other in the opening dates mm. of being romantically involved. And obviously it was just like you date someone two or three times and it doesn't work out. Like it happens to a lot of us, but it's just like when you're Tom Brady, then everybody knows about everything that's happening with you. Yeah, and I'm sure it's happened multiple times with him in, in that regard of, of dating, going a couple dates since he's broken up with Giselle and then it fizzled out. I mean, it happens. I, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm not surprised because like the whole Bradley Cooper thing, the, being a model, I mean, it just didn't. But I am surprised that he was being spotted out in public. And, and yeah, like, I don't know. I, I, I do. I do think this has happened to him several times since Giselle. Though. I'd imagine that he's been kind of romantically involved, and then they fizzle. You know, I'm, I'm sure he'll the be just people. fine too. I'm sure he'll be just fine. Oh yeah, no, nobody's crying for Tom Brady. I could just see him with Kim Kardashian. I can't not see them together. If that, I mean, I know it was a rumor for a while, and then right. you know, it was there was no truth to it or whatever. But I think I just well, they did have that that little thing at the at the art show, right? The, the, the charity thing where they were supposed to be flirty. They just make sense for both of them, and yeah. career wise too. Like I don't know what Tom wants to do. Like he's going to commentate and that sort of stuff. But it's just good for his brand and celebrity. Date Kim Kardashian. It's good for her too. Makes her <laughs> cool. I can see that because this is a trend that Taylor would have started. Just like let's date the football jock. It, it, it is hard for him though because like he clearly 
And like, how do you date a normal person after going with Giselle and and Irina? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> you got to date a model. You know what I mean? There's no like you have to take date this this type, right? That's his yeah. type, and so he's it's it's got to be a Kim Kardashian or somebody like that. I, I'll be interested to see Bradley Cooper is dating um, Gigi Hadid. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So Arena's ex has moved on with Gigi Hadid. Isn't that crazy? God almighty. Every, everybody, every model dates a model. Okay, on to the most ridiculous news of the day. Halloween costumes for actors have been banned. Uh, so this is part of their ongoing strike. Uh, the SAG Guild, so that's a guild, Actors Guild. Uh, they have sent out a memo to everyone who's like a member and... All the big actors are members of SAG and all the big good movies have been made with SAG actors. Uh, and they have sent out a memo saying, do not dress as any character from any movie. If you want to support the strike, they've allowed sort of zombies or spiders or anything like that. You can go as a ghost if you want, but they don't want you to go as like Barbie or like any of the big movies this year. And you know who has a problem with it? Two of the biggest actors, Ryan Reynolds and also Mandy Moore. So I'll just read you quickly what Ryan and, and Mandy said. Mandy said, is this a joke? Come on, Sag Afra, Ag Aftra. Get back to the table and get a fair deal so everyone can get back to work. Please and thank you. And Ryan Reynolds said, I look forward to screaming scab at my eight-year-old all night. She's not in a union, but she needs to learn. That tweet is hilarious. That's funny. <laughs> but let's talk about this. What costume do you want to be out of these movies? It, Barbie, obviously, is number one. Barbie's number one. So that's it. I mean, what you're going to dress up as Oppenheimer? Like, what, I, are, what are we talking I th about I, here? I don't know. I think that's sag too. Uh, too. That's what I'm saying. Like, what 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 costume are they banning these people from wearing? Is but but is it, uh, isn't it from all uh, movies that SAG actors have acted in? Which I thought is, it was this year. It's all time. It's all time? Yeah. <laughs> Little I said no. Okay, then my point is rescinded. I had thought it was just only the that was struck this year. No, 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 no. Any movie ever Take that any back. character. Take that back. Okay, yeah, no, this is horrible. So <laughs> this it, is the worst. This is the worst thing I've ever heard. It can't be any character from anything because because yeah, that's I, Brian Cra crazy. Know. They they want you to go as a generic sort of zombie like paint your face green. Uh, why, like like Ryan Reynolds says, how am I gonna make my eight year old to be stoked about that? Like I wanted to be right. teenage mutant, teenage mutant ninja turtle, whatever. Like, well, that's a good way to be paint, paint your face green and go. You know, either but I can't anymore. I mean, yeah. that's part of the strike films, you know. It's like, just crazy. Like they've been struck for like a hundred days, and this is just a way to lose people. Sag, it just it'll just yeah. get people offside, <laughs> even within your own ranks. Now people are coming up like Ryan Reynolds to call you out. It's just. What are you doing? Yeah, no, that's a bad look. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. And Halloween is like time for kids to be kids. And yeah, let's put this all aside and let everybody. Yeah, let's have a let, let's have a strike of the right. strike or for Halloween. Let's, let's be reasonable. If you want to strike, let's strike only the struck that were here. You know what I'm saying? Like the Barbies. You know, I get that aspect, but I, all I, time, I'm down with no Barbies this Halloween. <laughs> if we just want to keep it to that that's one movie, like, yeah, like and, and make your statement, like you know that that makes more sense. Because Barbie's gonna be everywhere, but, man. Barbie's gonna be everywhere. Yeah. Okay. On to our final story. Uh, a man in Spain, a 50-year-old guy, for the past two months has been faking heart attacks at various restaurants in order to get a free meal. Uh, so this guy has been caught now, uh, but the heist went on for a little time. Uh, so 20 times he went, uh, and what happened was he would, uh, like, like fall down to the floor, like ha having drunk expensive whiskey, uh, a, a Russian salad. Just he was pretending to be Russian, he, and he pretending he couldn't speak the language, the Spanish. Uh, so he drinks his whiskey, dr eats a salad, and also he has a main, like a lobster dish or something. People said, mm -hmm. and then he's like, oh, oh, <laughs> and he goes down, and somehow, like I guess he just like gets out of his bill just by like I, I think he calls for like emergency right. and that sort of stuff. Kind of haul him out, right? Um, but he hit, because of he hit 20 places, he was getting away with it until Ed, until he hit the same place twice. And so they're like, weren't you the guy <laughs> who had a heart attack in here last week? And so this, this guy's been caught. So the, it, it, the whole master point of the plan is like, he goes to jail for a couple of days, gets out and you know, it's a very small offense, right? These are allegedly only $36 bills. Uh, oh, really? Like they're not like- $36? Some of them, yeah. I, I, the, some have been more, some have been less, whatever. Right, but, right, right. But like, it's, all, it's only, so you're basically stealing 36 bucks or whatever, right? So yes. the idea is that he goes to jail for a couple of days, gets out and does it more and more. So. 
<laughs> he's he's like, I'll get a lobster and you know I'll get a free night's sleep. Right, and then I go to jail for a couple days. Yeah, fine. I'll get out and get a new lobster. Are they gonna really prosecute me over a thirty six dollar lobster? You know? Yeah. So I, I, it's a pretty genius. It's pretty. It's a pretty funny sort of scam. <laughs> you know, I understand why he was. Uh, he was, and it was just over such petty, petty little amounts of money too. It's just. I just let him get away with it. It's pretty there are photos <laughs> online of this guy, um, like, uh, like on the ground. It's because um, the restaurant sent that uh, the photo of him like faking the heart attack onto the other restaurants to right. do not serve this heart attack man. But just a pretty funny story. Yeah, maybe he needs a new bit now. He'll, he'll, he'll need a new bit yeah, to just, get out of. Him now. I don't know what you only got any idea. Uh, I don't know what do you do after a heart attack. Uh, it's hard to one up that. Isn't <laughs> I know. Kind of got to maybe do something. You gotta do something. Go, go. All right, Ed. Thank you for joining me, mate. And we'll see you guys here tomorrow. Bye.